Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. In this video today I will try to explain how to rename Sprite in Scratch. Also why to do it, when to do it and so on, but um, even from this image here you can see that it's very easy to do. All you have to do is uh, select the sprite you want to rename, then click in this field which says Sprite and um, change the name into whatever you want. So in this case it was Sprite 1 and I have changed it into Scratch Cat. Let's see that in action. I'm using Scratch desktop version and I think same would be for Scratch online version in terms of you start when you start new scene, new file, new game, you start with only this scratch cat on the scene as a sprite. Uh, but the problem I have here is that it's called sprite 1. Uh, under this scene you have some kind of information on position, x and y, direction, size and so on. <clears throat> but you also have the name of the sprite. In uh, this case here, this cat is called Sprite 1. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, it's not logical, it's not um, um, useful for my game, so I want to change it. And you, all you have to do is just click on it, and like you would in some text editor, backspace to delete it step by step, or just select all of it and press delete, and then you see it turns into name, and you should type the name of it. I will call it Scratch Cat. Press enter and you see how this image here which represents your sprite, so you can select it if you have more than one sprite, turned into Scratch Cat. Ok, let's try to import some other sprites like for example Apple and maybe uh, Abby or Ab yeah, Abby. Ok, so uh, Scratch lets you change the name, uh, this one was uh, named nicely, Apple is Apple, named Apple, ok, great, but uh, Scratch doesn't care if you, whatever you type, or if you type like here banana instead of Apple, it will let you do that. And it also, can you can also type in capital letters and uh, small letters or, or all capital and so on and go crazy like this uh, but again don't uh, use that for uh, fooling around just be careful because we will use this these names later and I will show you exactly how in few seconds but just to be aware you can type whatever you want and I think you can also type even some numbers yeah it lets you type numbers so uh, maybe, um, <clears throat> I don't know, if we have some kind of robot here. Mm, yeah, so I can rename this robot into um, like some kind of not C-3PO but like uh, 356-89. Yeah, and it works, so it lets me use the numbers also. So, uh, why are we doing all of this? Why are we renaming the sprites and how and uh, when to do it in terms of when you make games and so on? I would recommend to do it as soon as possible and uh, always to, and always to rename your sprites and name them if you make sprites from scratch and custom sprites. Uh, in the start because later you can forget to do it and you will use that for example if I want to uh, I'm now in scratch cat and I want for example to uh, make some kind of game where my uh, scratch cat is touching this girl uh, and then um, I don't know uh, disappearing or whatever so touching, I am now in sensing blocks and dragging this touching and when I click on this button and we have learned that in a, when we explain this block you can now pick other sprites with 
whom you want to make collision and uh, get information is the cat touching this and so on so if for example um, yeah it's funny enough they have called this cat here cat in sprites library but it started with I will restart file new project it starts as sprite one so for example if I have Abby as my main character and I want to code some game where Abby is touching or um, we need distance to cat but here cat is called sprite one so when you have game as simple as this you know you have only two characters so okay I can check sprite one is what cat cool but if you have like 10 50 500 characters uh, which one would be the sprite one how would you know the sprite one is the cat and why would you risk to get confused or, or make error or whatever so it's easier just to rename this sprite one into cat and now abby distance to cat abby has touching the cat and you know exactly what you're doing or even if you have like for example couple of those cats so i have different cats on my and you see how it turned immediately into cat 2 because we had cat on the screen already so if i add one more it should probably rename itself into cat 3 yeah you can see that so uh, we have three cats now and if we didn't rename sprite one into cat and this one into cat two and three we would get confused but even we can rename those cat two and three into something else so for example if this cat if it has uh i don't know black black fur like this so why would you call it cat two? you can instead call it black cat it makes more sense so now you can pick it here in some blocks and you know exactly what you are trying to uh, achieve with blocks you're not confused which one is cat two three and so on so uh, uh what i want to say is uh, make uh, descriptive names names which uh, makes sense to you and uh, it would be later much much easier for you to make games especially when you have lots of characters uh, another thing which we will do in next video is uh, when i change the name of this sprite which we have learned here the problem with it is that it doesn't change all the costumes name here so for example look at this sprite here abby it's called abby okay that's cool and i have some costumes abby one abby b uh, c happy uh, and so on um okay that's all cool they are called abby a b c d that makes sense more or less to me but let me for example think if my game changes here and now I have to rename this sprite into some other name because my main character would be Jenny or uh, I don't know um, whatever some girl's name uh, look now when I change the sprite name what will happen with the costumes so from Abby we go to Jenny okay that worked now my sprite is Jenny but the costumes didn't change so we will learn that in next video so far so good uh, thanks for watching and see you in next one